Middletown High School school psychologist Denise Panko was in charge of an organization of giving out positive affirmation rocks to teachers. Several teachers I've spoken to have been very impacted by the kindness that she's shown. Hi, I'm Denise Panko. I'm the school psychologist at Middletown High. About a month ago, Mr. Casada had asked me to do uh, some kind of an activity with the teachers here at Middletown High kind of leading into the holidays knowing that people get a little bit stressed kind of overwhelmed that even though it's an exciting and fun time that it also can cause a little bit of stress so I had looked around at some different activities to do just kind of brief uh, mindfulness thing. So that's when I went online and I knew that I had done an activity with these stones previously. So the goal of giving the teachers the rocks was one, everybody likes little presents. So it was something kind of unexpected that they could get, but then also to help them to um, bring them back to a place where they could stop for a few minutes, not think about all the papers they have to grade or anything negative in their life, but if you kind of hold on to the stone or you think about the word that's on it, that it brings you back, back to the present moment and is something that helps, is a tangible item to help with mindfulness. I ended up buying these off of Amazon, but the reason that I like having the stones for the mindfulness activity is that the stones are something that's from nature. They're probably something that was um, created when the earth was created. They're millions, if not billions of years old. And there's just that connection to um, back to the earth and kind of being grounded. So the person who influenced me was one of our former school counselors, Miss Langley. Um, she hasn't been here for a couple of years. She moved to a different position, but she led a book study one year and did a mindfulness activity using rocks. So I just remembered how that made me feel and I wanted to be able to share that with more of the teachers here in the building. So yes, people were allowed to look in the box, kind of look at the different words that were on them and pick the one that they felt called to them or had some kind of a meaning for them personally. Now that we've learned a little bit more about the rocks, I'm going to go around and ask teachers what rock they picked and why. Okay, so what rock did you get? Uh, well, they kind of let us choose. So um, I picked focus because I'm a little squirrely. Um, and uh, I think clarity, again, because I'm squirrely. Um, and then I think Mr. Peyton threw desire at me because my first name is Desiree and he's like, this has your name. So I had three, but um, I try to, they're on my desk and I try to look at them every day and they so far are helping me focus. Okay, so what rock did you get? I got wisdom. And why did you get it? Um, I chose wisdom because we, especially myself, always can strive to acquire more. So um, thankful for everyone that's given me wisdom and that rock is a reminder to always seek wisdom from others. What rock did you get from Ms. Panko? Um, so I picked trust and that was because I find that trust is so important. Trust between students and teachers and my ability to trust my students as well. It's just the foundation of all relationships. So. Okay, so what rock did you choose? I chose one that said courage. And why did you choose it? I put my hand in the box and picked it out. I thought it was candy, and then I went to bite it, and it hurt. Oh, I'm sorry about that. It's okay. My teeth are fine now. 